Hi everyone, I'm glad you're here. Thank you for taking your time to once again join me. Late last night at about 10.05 p.m. there was a magnitude 6.6. .6. This was um, because of the movement of the Panama Plate moving north. The Panama Plate has a bit of a history. Uh, this area developed a land bridge over the eons. It's been slowly moving uh, to the west and then it separates and yeah, draws towards the south back and forth. And this is part of the uh, ancient Caribbean volcanic arch. Here on Geoscope, you can see the moment tensor ball where the plate moved going north. And then also we got some subduction that was going on. Uh, more likely it was a thrust earthquake, but there was no tsunami warning. It was 6.2 miles in depth. Uh, they have 10 kilometers here. 97 people sent in reports to USGS that they did feel this and they gave it an intensity level of 6. There was quite a few reports sent into EMSE and one of the first reports said that many people were frightened. So intensity level 6 means it was felt by all. Many people were frightened and they ran outdoors would have been damage such as falling plaster and chimneys. Um, it says here damage would have been small. Here is that report on EMSC. It says we are directly on the border of Colombia and Panama. We felt it really strong here and people are quite shaken up. Uh, this was a report that was 32 kilometers southwest. So that would be about 19 miles. Then there in Colombia, about 139 miles east. So that would be about 86 miles, maybe a little bit farther. And it says they moved the motorcycle and the chairs and the rocking chairs. She was lying on the belt bed and she felt the shake. Um, Montessera, I believe it is. Let's see. And then we got another one from uh, Panama, 239 kilometers, which is more than 148 miles, and it said, everyone my, in my house is sorry, probably scared. She moved the bed for several seconds. Like I said, it was 10.05 uh, p.m. last night. Um, it felt strong in that area. I'm not going to try and pronounce it. Another one from Panama City. Um, felt it at Coastal Del SD, um, Panama City. Another one said that I was sitting on the couch and it started to move 260 kilometers west. So that would be about 162 miles. Let's see, another one, Panama. It says, just like the photo sitting in the living room and the lamp started to move, um, WTF. Okay, another one. Um, the bed I was lying on was rocking. Let's see, felt strong there in Panama City. I'll show you where that is in a minute. Another one very mild. Uh, another one said it felt very strong. Okay, and then we got this one. I was in my bed and I could feel how it swayed from right to left. Things in the room swayed. Um, I'm not going to try and pronounce it. It was only felt for about six seconds. It didn't last long enough to record it. Oh, I guess they meant like on their cell phone. A lot of people sent in videos. I felt how my bed began to osculate. And I saw objects on the nightstand moving like pendulums gently. Okay, 262 kilometers, which would be... 162, almost 163 miles, and that was west. Um, yeah, lots of reports. Medium shaking, Panama City. Felt our bu building and bodies swaying, Panama City. Curtain and lampshade shook, bed rocked. Uh, San Felipe, 
Okay, felt the bed move, heard the walls creak. Uh, bed moving and walls creaking. Yeah, a lot of reports. Let's see, they said they didn't feel it. Let's see. Uh, Vela Cruz. Uh, felt either two earthquakes or one well extended. Okay. So let's go to Panama City using Google Earth. Right there. And there's the location of that earthquake. We'll zoom in a little bit more. So I did find one video. It's a little greeny. It's nighttime. I'll play it. There's uh, lots of brick in the road there. Uh, people on motorcycles walking around. Yeah, people evacuating their homes like they said they were quite scared. Let me bring this down a little bit so you can see the damage. Probably maybe tiles off the buildings. I'm not quite sure because like I said it's pretty grainy. There's another video of things that were knocked down. Uh, boxes, a shelving unit that more than likely was not bolted to the wall. Um, looks like medicines. Maybe it's a doctor's office. There's another news article about it being felt there at the Panama um, border and showing all the people heading towards the United States. Yeah, look at that. Another one of a chandelier. Shaking, rocking. Boy, look at the crystals on that thing, huh? Wow. Here is another Twitter post from EMSC. Yeah, you can see that it, in fact, was a thrust earthquake. The question on here was, what fault was it? Well, it's actually the uh, Panama plate that was moving. Sending prayers to everyone. Yep. For every dynamo that falls, there's another one that comes afterwards. So, yeah, this is going towards the Caribbean, the movement. So, what are your thoughts? Hopefully, um, your family members there are okay. They said light damage. Well, yeah, um, I don't want any type of damage, would you? doesn't matter if it was light or heavy. Um, put your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And as always, be prepared for any type of disaster. And I will talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye.